Beloved, I bless you from the city of the great king, from a Jerusalem that is absolutely been in such festivities the past few days. It started with Yom Yerushalayim, um, celebrating her birthday, and then, of course, it was the 14th of May, and uh, the nations marched through Jerusalem to honor her and to voice um, their agreement with God's plan for her to stand against anti-Semitism. And again, Jerusalem just remains this amazing city. But what I love to experience in Jerusalem is the manifestation of God's word, is to see on the one hand how at the same time she's a cup of trembling and a burdensome stone, and how the word says that those who come against her will be cut in pieces by her. And I see how the nations are coming against her. And we know that the Lord's word will not return void. But thank God for the intercessors who can stand and repent. And that so much so for South Africa. That we will repent in this time when our nation has come against Jerusalem, against Israel. But then on the other hand, we have um, the... U.S. Embassy moved here, and it's a sign of Jerusalem coming into her fullness because when you pray for the shalom of Jerusalem, you are praying for her fullness. You are praying for the manifestation of the word of God over her. And the word of God says that Jerusalem will be a praise in the earth. And, and in my heart and your heart, I know she's already that. She is a royal diadem, a crown of splendor in the hand of the Lord. And I know many of you are longing to be here in this time, um, but the Lord sees it. And the Lord, um, I believe it's all recorded as intercession, your desires, your heart for Israel, and it's all needed in this time. Each and every one of us are having a place in the gap right now. And I thank God for you and for your place in the gap. I had the privilege to go and say happy birthday to Jerusalem. Um, and I went to the wall and I just prayed there and I just stood there by those stones that have recorded every prayer that's ever been prayed there. And it was just such a privilege and an honor also to once again repent for our government stand, but also to align ourselves with the word of God. And I want to end with this little discovery because every time you come to Jerusalem, you discover a little bit more about Jerusalem. And this discovery, I'm, I, it was just a revelation to me this year. And it comes from Isaiah 66, where the scripture tells us that we should rejoice with Jerusalem. And haven't we seen that? Haven't we seen the amazing rejoicing, immense rejoicing? Um, during the festivities, even though there is such a war on the borders in Gaza. Um, it is the wonderful thing that the Israelis can do, and it's so godly. And no matter what happens, they are always ready to praise. But what the scripture says is that we will be nursed and be satisfied with the comforting bosom of Jerusalem. You know, and I realize, but this is it. Jerusalem has a bosom. And the word says, you will drink deeply and delight in her overflowing glory. And that is what we are doing. And that is what you are doing when you are missing her and when you are praying for her. And then the scripture says that the Lord says, he will extend peace to her like a river. And the glory of the nations or the Gentiles like a flooding stream. And I realize that every time when you come to Jerusalem, you are walking the scripture, the glory of Yeshua in you. You are bringing it to her like a flooding stream. So you are flooding Jerusalem with his glory with every step that you take on his streets. What a beautiful privilege. And then the word says that you will nurse and be carried on her arm and dandled on her knees. As a mother comforts her child, so will I comfort you and you will be comforted in Jerusalem. How amazing is this? That not only do we comfort Jerusalem, 
by Jerusalem is our mother, a mother to us, and she comforts us. So I want to bless you today from the city of the great king. And thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your heart. Thank you for your alignment with the Lord's word for such a time as this. The Lord bless and keep you from Zion. Shalom.